Hi everyone, this is Marissa again. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. And as I've said, you guys, from my last video, that today's video, I am going to show you what um, a what I bought in London a few years ago. We went on vacation with my family. And if you guys want to know what these things are, please keep on watching. So before I will go on with my video, um, I would just want to say thank you again so much for tuning in with me today. And if you are uh, just um, bumping it into my channel, my name is Marissa and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching. And again, you guys, today I'm going to show you what my haul in London. Um, I bought this few years ago and it was just in the box and it was in my closet and then we we moved here to our new house i could not find it it was still in the box and then finally i remember it i have not used this you guys and it's really i could not i cannot wait to use this so um before i will continue again i just want to say this is not a sponsored video we bought this on our own money so let's start unpacking this thing and reveal what's in the big blue box so let's start with this big blue box. It's really heavy. And this is my royal collection. So, um, and then I have a little one too. So that will be the last part. But let's see, here it is, you guys. Ta -da, here's my receipt. I want to tell you the story about this after I open this first box. It's really well packed. Look at that, all the stuff. And here it is. It is. I know you know you can tell what it is. This is my teapots. This is my royal collection teapot. Look how pretty that is, you guys. So I'm gonna tell you guys the story about this. When we went to London, um I don't think a lot of people know um to get this. I brought this in the US. I mean I got this in the US without carrying in my suitcase because at first I didn't want to buy this because this is really delicate it's, it's ceramic and um, we went to tour of Buckingham Palace and then at the end of the tour I saw the gift shop and then we went in and I said oh my god I, me and my daughter love tea and I said I really need to have that and so my husband said, why don't you get it? And then I said, oh, I'm so afraid to get it because if you put this in your suitcase, you guys, even though the box are sturdy, you know how the blog is, they just throw it all over the place. So then the lady, um, the sales lady heard me talking about how to transport this in the US. She told me that I can buy it at the uh, Buckingham Palace gift shop and they will ship it to me. So I said, oh my God, that's gonna be heavy because the box alone has weight and it's really hard. So she said, no, it's not that expensive. But at that time, you guys, it was a little bit more expensive because the uh, pound against the US dollar was almost double. So then, but after we kind of wander around the gift shop my husband said just get it you're here get it so we got it and then this is the royal collection oh um let me see it, it it's each collection you guys has their own name and some are like what tier and i'm afraid this is the english uh, the royal collection made in england uh you know what i don't even know what the name on this one let me see yeah it didn't tell me what it is but some of the uh the the teacup and the saucer was uh the queen victoria collection and this is the coa teapot i don't know what that is oh maybe the coronation coronation teapot that's what it is yes i think and then so um here it is it's um look how pretty that is it's blue i'm gonna do a close-up look on this later on you guys and i decided each teapot each color the queen has the whole set the same color i decided not to get the same color i want to click one of each 
from a different collection so I can have it. So this is it and it costs us $112, uh, €112, Euro. no, £112 pounds this one so i don't remember how much it was in the us dollar at that time i think it was a dollar 80 per um you know per dollar pound and i don't know which one is the, and then this one another guy look at this uh, this one is this is the queen victoria teacup and the saucer so look how this it has also the royal um logo in here you guys and it said made in this one is made in England I think all of them is made in England yes this one is also made in England and look how beautiful that is the color and the royal uh, the, the lion and the crown look how pretty that is it's so beautiful and then let's go open the other one they really pack it really good and oh look at that see how pretty that is so and this is the saucer I and it has also the crown and then it also has the uh, the queen sealed in the back and so each teacup has all the saucer has different um, designed and yeah this is the Queen Victoria teacup and the saucer. So look how pretty that is, you guys. It's just so beautiful. I can I cannot wait to uh, to use this. I'm gonna um okay, put this off to the side. And then let me see. I'm not quite sure. There's another one. I bought four of the teacup and then one of the saucer. This one, look how pretty it is. It seems like it matched the box. Look this one. And it should have a name on it. So this is the... Oh, let me get my glasses. This one is the Royal Arms Teacup and Saucer. So this one was 55 pounds. This is a set you guys for 55 pounds. It's a saucer and... It's a saucer and a teacup for 55 pounds. So it's teacups and the saucer, it's different price. One of them was 40 pounds and one of them was 45 and one of them is seven, almost 80 pounds and one is almost 50 pounds. So I think this is the one that's 55 pounds. That's weird. They only put, it said 55 but I only see 45 in here. So look how pretty this one is. It's just so pretty when you get to afternoon tea and the cookies. Look how pretty that is. And each one of the, um, each box you guys have all this um, thing from the palace. Uh, it says, uh, what is this in here? So this is uh, made in Staffordshire, England using a traditional method which have remained unchanged for 250 years. Each piece of this English fine bone china is skillfully finished by hand using 22 carat gold. So there is some 22 carat gold in here embedded on this. So I think all the gold is 22 carats. An exclusive design of English Fine Bone China has been commissioned by the Royal Collection. It shows Queen Victoria's coat of arms surrounded by Rococo style decoration which appear throughout the state room Buckingham Palace. So you can see this collection you guys at the state room in Buckingham Palace. So that's this is this one. I feel like I don't want to mix them up because each one of them goes to each corresponding box and I don't want to mix it so let's do the third one I love this color I love the green the the red and the gold seal and this one is also said $55 the coronation teacup and saucer so the coronation teacup and saucer so the box said 55 pounds you guys and I paid 45 so there were a $10 10 pounds off on each of one 
And this one also has the 24 karat gold. And again, each one of them has this um, from the palace. And the tissue paper has the crown, the seal from the royal seal. And this one has the line. Look how pretty this one. I really love the red and the gold into it. I don't even know why I did not use this for a long time. It was just, I just got so busy with work. See, so look at that, you guys. Look how pretty that is. That. See how pretty that is. I cannot wait to use this. See, look. It's so pretty. And then let's do the uh, last one. This one has a nice, uh, like, more like a mauve color box, and it's also have the uh, the gold seal from the crown from the palace. And this one was, oh my god, I can't see. Um, let me see how much is this one. Ah, oh my god, you guys, this one was. 95 pounds and i think it was on sale because on my paper i don't have anything that says 95 pounds so this can probably be this 80 pounds so yeah so they are like 10, 10 pounds of <coughs> excuse me you guys <laughs> so let us see which one is this <coughs> <coughs> V and A teacup sauce. Yeah, so this is the <coughs> excuse me you guys, this is the 79 pounds and 17 cents. Look how gorgeous that is. Let me get the saucer. <coughs> excuse me you guys. A drink of water. Oh anyway, so look how the detail on this cup, you guys. This one has uh, more of the purple um design but i do love all the flowers in here on each cup on how beautiful this is it's just so pretty i'm gonna get it close to the camera you guys so you can see and then the detail on the back so like if you ask me you guys which one is my favorite i think this two the color i like red and gold it's just really elegant but then again when you look at the um the gold this one the plain gold it's also so pretty and it has like a simple detail of queen elizabeth's crown right there which is i really love and each one of them has on the bottom also and this one might be queen victoria because has a v on it so I'm afraid to drop this thing. So this one, and if you can see this, they are really gorgeous, you guys. I'm gonna get a close-up look, you guys, and I'm gonna put it somewhere on my video, on um, you know, on each one of them. And then, um, so if you're gonna ask me, you guys, how I got this in the United States, um, sorry, my nose is so itchy. Um, the lady told me that they're gonna they were a, they're gonna be able to ship this to me from the Buckingham Palace to here <coughs> so I said oh my god let's do that so um, it has all the um, custom declaration in it so they need that and then also um, you can make a copy of this one and this and send it to the custom and then they will uh, send you back your refund for the tax <coughs> excuse me you guys the shipping on this one they charged me 60 pounds so which is a lot at that time probably almost like a hundred dollars i think for the you know so the whole thing was um this whole set you guys i pay almost 400 dollars with the shipping so it's kind of sad because right now the pound is a little bit um not as high as it used to be so when we were there one 
dollar is equivalent to a uh, one pound is equivalent to one dollar and eighty cents so it's almost double so now if you guys want to go to Buckingham Palace and do a tour don't forget to stop by at their gift shop and grab some of this so I decided you know as I've said I decided to do my collection in different colors because um, um, I didn't want to have to have just the blue I really love this blue and I want to have so many different colors so I decided to get different teapots instead of, I mean tea cups instead of you know five different sets so then I can just add some of my collection if I go back I'm gonna probably get a couple more of different kind of tea so when my friend can have it we can have this um, you know t tea time and my daughter went back and I totally forgot so I didn't know she went to the Buckingham Palace but the last one that I really um, can't go without it is this little royal collection earring I only wear this for special occasion it's a 14 carats earring I think this is from Queen the royal collection I think this is from Queen Elizabeth's collection it's as you can see it's so beautiful i don't know what the stone is it looks like more of a it, it's a transparent stone and i don't know what it is it looks like more greenish you know see look how pretty that is you guys and it has the uh, the seal also from the palace and because it's been in the box in the store which is wasn't supposed to be and then um this one is kind of distorted i think it's from the heat when we move it here from uh, massachusetts and look how pretty i'm gonna wear it you guys so you can see i'm gonna wear one so you can see i'm gonna wear the other one too and you guys can see what it looks on me sorry about my fingernails you guys i work in the dentist and i took my nail polish because every time I have a, I have a patient every one hour and every time I change the gloves I have to wash my hand and it really um, you know dry out my fingernails and my polish so it's not worth to have you know while you're working see and this one I'm not afraid that it will come off on me you guys when I go somewhere because you can feel there's a when you push there's a lock that you can hear it click so it locks see look how pretty it is so I'm gonna again I'm gonna do a close-up look I'm gonna show it to you you guys later on and see how this look like which is I really really love it so every time I wear this people would really like oh I like your earrings so again that's the royal collection right there and I don't know what the price on this one because I do not I cannot find the rest of the paperwork on this one before i forget you guys i just want to show you what i'm wearing this is the stardust watch the copper the bronze one or copper one of those and look how gorgeous that is it's it, this one i like it too because it goes goes with everything and you can see it really sparkle if the light hits it and uh, this is the authentic one i did an unboxing video of this in the authentic stardust one but if you guys want to purchase this um wanted to uh, purchase the stardust one the, i i will put the link on my description that we it'll, it will take you to the authentic stardust one because there is a lot of this in um online and then one time i bought the fake one so which is the facing was not available it was flat so this is the bronze or the copper if you can see how gorgeous that is and yeah it is light and has that magnetic um magnetic bracelet to it so it's like one size fits all so anyway you guys that's it for today's video um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any questions on you know regarding this um royal collection you just drop me a comment down on my description box and i will answer it as much as you can but i do highly recommend when you go to buckingham palace grab some of this because right now the pound is not as expensive and so you'll get more out of your box 
then before it was really i was really crunching it on how expensive this one is like almost two hundred dollars you know i'm saying just for this so um uh thank you again so much for watching my video today and i hope to see you again on my next video and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification but if you haven't and um i hope to see you guys again next time bye